God help us all, eh? God help us all. Or dog help us all. Oh no. Dog up in the field and, and my little black coyote here. He's noticing. Anyway, Coach Rico's in the house. Coach Rico. Coach Rico. Oh, he's sitting down. What a good little dog, isn't he? Isn't he a good dog? Anyways, guys. It's Friday night. Friday night and Rico might have a fit here because there's a dog up in the field you guys can't see behind that post and I'm just not gonna go in that direction because Rico might just flip out certain dogs he just you know freaks out at I think uh, Rico's just got an attitude issue with smaller dogs and, and female certain female bigger dogs you know, Rico's cool with that, but Rico's got issues too. Everyone's got issues, guys. Anyways, Friday night, what are you going to do? Great majority of the people in this industry are going to are gonna just like crack a couple beers open or have some cocktails, right? Cocktails, spend some time with the family spend some time with the family that is a nice idea that is a, a wonderful idea but the thing is a great majority of people online are not succeeding the great majority of people online are failing so it's Friday night if you haven't done anything for yourself for your own business for your own success for your own credibility or if you haven't done anything uh, to the, for the marketplace like giving value then maybe you should go out there and do something right now just an idea that's up to you that's a hundred percent your decision but it's Friday night I figure I'm gonna put out another video here <coughs> just cuz I'm a little weird Rico's a little weird too a bunch of weird guys but you know you know what I noticed in this industry weird weirdos and misfits seem to have an edge it's not really an edge but it just seems like an edge because if you're if you're anything like me it's, I never fit in in uh, I don't know I never fit in I was always like weird I'm like really weird you know like I hold doors for people if people hold doors for me I say thank you I'm courteous uh, but I just noticed I grew up here in Canada and everyone was like trying to act like whatever you see marketing is marketing marketing has been around you since you were a little child and maybe now you're starting to notice maybe some of you already noticed that for years but uh, society has been conditioning us for years and lifetimes on how to look how to act what house to live in, what car to drive, uh, how to talk, how to dance, how to walk. But for me personally, I've always been like weird and strange. But besides myself, there's other marketers, some really big name marketers, David Wood. He, he even said uh, he's weird. He said people, people would come up to him before before he came online and they still do it up to now and he said people would come up to him and say stuff like you're funny looking and he would say yeah that's true and it would throw them off and there was that other guy uh, hippie Jedi you know, he, he's kind of weird too right hippie Jedi some of you guys probably know the hippie Jedi there's some really big names out there that that are, are like like weirdos and they're proud of it they're proud of it but here's the thing why why would a weirdo and when I say weirdo guys I don't mean like pedophiles and because those are those are weird I don't mean pedophiles if you're a pedophile I'm not talking about you you're gonna get easier success online I'm not saying that or serial killers you're kind of weird actually <laughs> I've seen some movies on serial killers 
and read some books profiling like real serial killers and apparently serial killers they fit right in to society they hold doors for people they're very polite people and you would never know that they were serial killers the guy next door or the lady next door with the perfect lifestyle there's a movie called Mr. Brooks with uh, Kevin Costner you should watch that movie because he had like uh, perfect lifestyle uh, typical businessman type of attitude family life everything was perfect you know what we what we would think a perfect businessman would look like and the type of car he would drive the type of house he would live in the type of lifestyle that a business person or a businessman or even woman would live and that was Kevin Costner as Mr. Brooks but he had a dark side to him so well anyways guys what I'm saying is serial killers uh, no I'm not talking about you guys weirdos um, weirdos are just people who have different kind of energy my younger I have two sons one of them's not weird at all uh, he seems to you know very social very social guy but the younger son he considers himself he actually feels proud that he feels weird and that people think that he's weird he's not really weird he's just he's just I think the weird people are actually the normal people and the normal people the majority are the weird ones that's just my perspective but anyways, the point of the video, the point of this video today... Right, Rico? Rico, what do you think? Yeah, Rico's weird. Don't worry, guys. Rico does all kind of weird stuff. I can't tell you. He's going to get mad at me. <coughs> but here's the thing. Why do I say that weirdos and misfits may have an easier time online? It doesn't mean a weirdo or a misfit. A person who has different kind of energy that society would point fingers like the kid grew up uh, at school and all the other kids laughed at him you know like like Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer why would Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer come online and have an easier time the truth is he won't have an easier time he or she uh, here comes someone. hold on We'll go down this way. Just bear with me, guys. It's a dog. No. Sorry. So good. Hey, 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 hey. It's a puppy. Rico flipping out of a beautiful. See? Weirdo. Rico's freaking out of a. A husky, but it's a young one. I think the husky wants to play with him, but yeah, Rico's a little pain in the ass sometimes. Okay, so we got our excitement. Okay, the point. The point, right? The point of this weirdo stuff. I'm not saying Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, which is a great example. If Rudolph came online, He's not going to be having an easier time because his, his nose is red. And because all the other reindeers laughed and called him names. Rudolph. Hey, calm down. Rudolph would have... Rudolph would succeed, would more likely succeed uh, quicker than the other reindeers that were laughing and calling Rudolph names. Okay? And you know why? Because it comes down to it. It doesn't mean Rudolph, Rudolph's still going to have to work his ass off. And Rudolph's still going to have to fail himself forward. Just like everyone else. Just like all the perfect people out there. But Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. See, <coughs> Rudolph's life probably sucked. And all the perfect... There's a video out there, a song, shiny, perfect people. <laughs> Anyways, most people won't go all the way. 
in this industry because they realize there's work to be done and there's a price for their success and they will they would rather they'd be more willing to just settle in the end and not go through the whole process so everyone who starts the process of coming online and wanting to make to become successful all of you have the potential in you but the weirdos and the freaks like myself uh, it would be more painful for weird people not to succeed and the people who have fit into into uh, society they they would be willing they they probably look at their lifestyle and say well it's not so bad I'm not gonna go out there and do all that stuff that those weird people making all that money online are doing or and then they'll just tell themselves some bullshit like oh it really can't happen and then they want to it's not that they, they don't believe I, I used to think believe people didn't believe but a lot of people just want to believe in whatever they want to believe in okay so a weirdo would, would most likely go all the way the least likely will go all the way and succeed and the perfect type of people who always who are used to fitting in into society and doing all the right things and walking the straight line for their whole life they'll probably just are more willing to settle for the lifestyle that they have now okay so that's the point of the video the weirdos will most likely succeed because they probably figured their life sucks and it would be less pain for them to let themselves succeed and the perfect type of people who always fit in um, would be more pain for them to go through the process so they'll want to stick you know backtrack into the comfort zone and and stay where they are and they may look at it well life's not so bad and I don't know if that's a good way to look at it that's not a good way to look at it because cost of living is keeps going up and uh, jobs are not stable economy is not stable uh, investment uh, all kind of bullshit money games going on right Wall Street come on guys that's a scam right there right Wall Street see what happened in 2008 so whether you're perfect or you always fit in or or you were a misfit either way I think you'd be better off at letting yourself succeed by taking yourself through the whole process going out on a limb learning how to you know go out and buy products for yourself invest in an education and learn how to give value back to the marketplace and learn how to become a professional marketer I think that would be the best advice for anyone watching this video because settling I don't know what you're gonna settle I don't think I don't think things are gonna get better I think things the economy and stuff like that I don't think it's like sunshine and rainbows guys I think it's gonna get worse but that's that's your that's your deal whatever decision you want to choose but uh, the, yeah the misfits and the weirdos most likely will stick it out and succeed the perfect people can stick it out and, and succeed but like I said it comes down to a choice of avoiding pain and seeking pleasure okay and lastly before I go um, <clears throat> Another reason why weirdos and misfits succeed really big online is because they're used to sticking out like a sore thumb and the people who are used to fitting in are have so much fear about even doing video marketing. Okay? So many people they don't want to be a finger to point at them. Like, oh my god, look at you, you look funny on video, like look at me, I didn't shave just like yesterday didn't even comb my hair and I'm out here making videos and I'm totally comfortable with, with it okay that's another reason weirdos and misfits they don't mind fingers being pointed at them online because they've been getting fingers pointed at them all their life 
So that's something to ponder there, guys. Something to ponder. My coach says to turn the camera off because he wants to go inside and eat some Scooby snacks. Right, Rico? All right, you guys have yourself a good weekend. And uh, enjoy yourself. But if you're like me, enjoy yourself after. Go and do some work for yourself. They can get you some traffic and leads and sales. Ka-ching, ka-ching. If you guys are watching this video on YouTube and you want to learn how to do the ka-ching, ka-ching, you want to learn how to put yourself out there okay, properly like a professional marketer and learn stuff that will teach you like sales psychology and all that stuff, all that wonderful stuff, and you want to get access to a powerful system and platform, just like I did, that's teaching me how to do all this stuff right now, put myself out there in front of my target market. So if you want to learn how to put yourself out there in front of your target market, and you're watching this video on, on YouTube, just go lower below this video, you get access to my website there. Don't worry guys, I won't have any beard. It's going to be me standing in front of beautiful ocean. Alright guys, take the first step there guys. You have yourself a great day.